please subscribe. Some cars pass through the Auto Express office with no enormous fanfare, and the infant Volvo did fall into this class during its time here. But in fact, the V40 has been a refreshing spin on mainstream motoring, and after six months we have discovered there is plenty to like about the Audi A3 rival. In actuality, there are loads of things the hatchback does rightly, and the gas economy has made it one of the greatest money savers on our fleet. In the prior report, we exposed the Volvo to some challenging 60-mile hypermill marathon and was able to eke out a shocking 74.6 miles per gallon. Its 94 grams slash km CO2 emissions meant it was free to park outside my southwest London home, too, and although it isn't the fastest car from 0 to 60 miles per hour, it requires 9.9 .9 minutes. The powerful 2.0-liter diesel engine doesn't have any trouble keeping up with faster-moving vehicles on the motorway. Additionally, it is really well-built. Although those automobiles feature newer cabins and more advanced, lightweight materials, the aging V40 can still challenge the course best for its quality, fit and finish. One area where it cannot compete, however, is when it comes to interior design. The complex dash feels years behind the most instinctive infotainment setup you'll see in the most recent Volkswagen Golf, and even a BMW 1 Series defeats the Volvo's fiddly design with its own easy-to-use iDrive system. In actuality, the V40's button-biased center console reminds us of an old cell phone. In a huge touchscreen Samsungs and glossy iPhones, it all feels a little conservative and the 7-inch color display is not exactly laden with performance. Lots of the Volvo's more contemporary rivals include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, making connecting your smartphone a very simple and painless affair. No such luck on the V40. Even operating the climate control is a catchy and needlessly annoying procedure, requiring additional steps if you would like to operate the airflow and temperature on the passenger side. However, our car's long kit listing has offset the majority of these ailments. The LED lights are excellent, while the 17-inch R design metal wheels and pearlescent paint give the car a distinctive and desired appearance. It could be due for replacement within the next few years, but over its time with us the smallest car in Volvo's ever-expanding lineup has revealed it is still an interesting alternative to the best models in this course hybrid technology means cars are becoming more and cheaper. Decide on a plug-in or electric car and, providing you can keep up it, you will spend only pennies on fuel. However, what if you cover large miles and want the dependability of a car with a combustion engine? Due to a recent bad press, is a filthy diesel from the question, or does it still make sense for slogging up and down the motorway on a daily basis? Five months in an RV40 is proving there is life left in petrol yet. On a full tank the excursion readout indicates a whopping 700 mile variety, and as the miles pile on the vehicle is becoming more and more economical, too. There is no sportier driving manner, given, but no BMW style Eco Pro button, either. The long gearing and relatively large 2.0-liter diesel, many competitions use a 1.6, imply we are seeing over 50 miles per gallon, even throwing heavy London traffic to the mix. On a recent visit to Warwickshire, setting the cruise control at 70 miles per hour for 100 miles saw over 60 miles per gallon from our super frugal D2 model. Even loaded up with friends and luggage, the Volvo clocked an impressive 51 miles per gallon. But it almost does not matter how you push it. In a hurry, our V40 ticks along without difficulty, sipping diesel with the hesitation of an individual drinking a hot cup of tea. Which got us thinking, how near the V40's maintained 83.1 miles per gallon could we get? Few automobiles match their producers publicize the months, but if any were to come near, the Volvo was in with a fantastic chance. It is a challenging path of urban and motorway driving, using a showing stretch of average speed cameras which should provide the Volvo a chance of smashing its previous personal best. Starting from cold did not help, 
but by feathering the throttle and handling our braking, we immediately saw the trip studding over 60 miles per gallon. Impressive, whatever the favorable conditions. With a great deal of miles ahead, we are excited about a thrifty summer motoring. In its old age, the Volvo is still one of the most effective premium hatches on sale. Occasionally a producer goes right back to the drawing board when it facelifts a vehicle, other situations the updates are a lot more subtle. Volvo has gone for the latter strategy with its revised V40, so when I was thrown the keys to the most recent addition to our test fleet, a D2R design, the best-selling model from the V40 range, in crystal white, I needed to show my partner Ed. After all, just 12 months ago he took the plunge and bought himself a very similar free facelift edition. I was keen to find the cars side by side to emphasize the changes Volvo was made, and it was easy to distinguish any differences with the two hatches being precisely the same spec. Only minutes after we parked the Volvos collectively, Ed and I had been hurriedly pointing out what we liked or and did not like about each other's cars. It was clear that there was lots to compare and contrast. It is in the front which the differences are most evident. Round the back there are even fewer discernible differences. Both cars feature a contrasting black boot lid, in addition to the R design's neat chrome exhaust tips. Our car receives a new for 2017 R design logo beside the D2 badge, while I give intent glass to the side and back windows, at number 300. This is a shame, because while quality is excellent, the complex dash design paths rivals from Audi and BMW. The button-heavy center console requires some getting used to, while it is difficult to familiarize yourself with the complex climate control setup. It's also a disappointment that the V40 is not accessible with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. However, pairing your phone is simple and our car's kit count is generous nonetheless. As I will be covering the number of miles at the smallest Volvo, I have added some luxuries. The Intel iSafe Pro Package, number 1900, provides innovative security kit. Our D2 is not as peppy as Ed's T3 petrol, but after only 2,800 miles I am seeing at least 10 miles per gallon more out of this gas, averaging 46.5 miles per gallon.